someone who doesn't need the arrival of spring to up her energy level is Lizanne Lazarus. And in fact, her motto seems to be, the busier, the better. So Lizanne offered to show us how she does it. We may think that stunning looks are all that's required to win a pageant, but other factors also enter the equation. An ability to express ideas and project your personality is also part of the winning formula. Lizanne Lazarus. As Lizanne Lazarus demonstrated when she took the Miss Mamalodi Sundowns Durban title, adding yet another sash and coronet to a steadily growing collection. She hasn't achieved this by being a couch potato, so she and Madhushan arranged to meet after her daily run. It's no coincidence that Lizanne Lazarus is such a familiar name and face, multiple pageant winner and brand ambassador. But that's just a part of her life. Today, I want to know the full picture. And speaking about Lizanne, here she comes. Hi, Magician. Hi, Lizanne. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Tell me a bit about your morning routine. I'm actually a morning person. I love mornings, I love Durban, love the scenery. So I kill two birds with one stone, come check out the cool scenery and keep it at the same time. Now you're a very busy person. Celebrity aside, tell us about the real you. I'm actually 21 years old. I'm a final year broadcast student at DUT and I'm the ordinary girl with extraordinary dreams, I would say. Very fun, quirky, love life and love people. You're also very active with your NPO. I have my own non-profit organization known as the Linda Kushle Kresh. It is in a remote area where I grew up close to. So it caters with, for about 40 children who grew up in the informal settlement. So it acts as a safe haven for kids so that parents can leave their kids there and they can go out and seek employment. That's amazing. What brought you to the world of pageants? I'm actually such a tomboy, love sports and activities. So I was just like one day, let me just get out of my comfort zone and see what happens. And then I took to one pageant and from there it actually became really successful. From that one I was like, okay, I love this. Now of course, being Miss Mamalodi Sundowns and of course the National Second Princess, that must have been quite exciting. It felt absolutely amazing because I love sports. So Mamelodi Sundowns is one of the best soccer clubs in South Africa, in the world in fact. So I was like, this is such a perfect way to mesh the two. I can be a princess and a sporty girl at the same time. So what kind of sports are you into? I love soccer, athletics, but one thing I'm sure you'll be shocked at is that I actually play golf. Really? Yeah, I represented KZN for three consecutive years at the South African Girls Golf Championship. Well, I can't wait to see you play golf. And I have the perfect spot for you. Let's go. Let's check it out. Lizanne had chosen a local indoor venue, but she had more than a gentle round of putt putt in mind. Selecting her favorite iron, she proceeded to show Madhushan exactly how it's done. Wow, what a shot! Why didn't you go pro? I wish it was that good. <laughs> What inspires you to become a golfer? My dad was exposed to the sport in his younger years and he didn't have any sons, so I was the next best thing. And I actually grew to love and enjoy it. What do you like most about golf? I love the fact that it's a challenge, it's relaxing and you're out in nature. Yes, okay, so I want to know all the tips and secrets to playing golf, so what do I need first? I would get a five iron for some length. Okay, then we're going to drop the club down. We're going to put our left hand on the club first, mm -hmm. just like that. Then we're going to get our baby finger. Place it in there, okay. and then the rest of your hand. Okay, nice firm grip. All right. Bend your knees a bit. Okay. There we go. You place the club forward, uh -huh. towards the left, a little bit towards your left. Why to the left leg? So that we hit it straight on target. Okay. Okay. And then we just go for a nice big swing. Oh, that's it? That's it. Well, I think I'm ready to hit a few shots now. Well, take it away. Oh. Good shot. And that's how you play a shot. But of course, credit to my coach. I'll take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really hungry. Can we get something to eat? Okay, but my favorite restaurant will not accept me in these. My favorite place to shop is just around the corner. Well, let's go. Let's go. From funky party gear to street chic, Lausanne can put together a look for every occasion. And she's equally comfortable on the cocktail circuit or the red carpet. She also has a romantic side, for when she's feeling more girly girl than tomboy. Lizanne, tell me about your sense of style. I like a little bit of classics and trendy at the same time, so I like to mix it up. 
Now, having worked with so many pageants, how has that impacted your sense of style? Oh, in a major way. It actually helped me to just be comfortable in my own skin and be confident in the garments that I'm wearing. Well, I can't wait to see what you selected for today. Oh, I have my eye on something really cool. So, do you want to come take a look? Yeah, sure. Wow, so this, is this is beautiful. What made you choose this one? I mean, we are getting into spring now, so definitely the colours, the floral, and it's my kind of style. Classic and fun at the same time. Well, I'm going to give you a few minutes to try it on and I'm going to step out. Cool. Even though he'd previewed Lizanne's selection, Madhushan wasn't expecting the transformation he was about to see. Wow, you look amazing. Let's get something to eat. Wow, this place is lovely. Now you know why it's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you enjoy most about being a Durban girl? Oh, there's so much that I could choose from. But for me, it would definitely be the warmth in the weather and in the people and the great diversity we share here as Durbanites. Hi, welcome to Peluga. Hi. It's been a while, ma'am. Would you like to have your usual? <laughs> yes, please. If you had to leave Durban for your career, where would you go? I'm a water baby, so wherever the ocean is, I'm there. <laughs> so she's ready. Thank wow. you. Wow, thank you so much. Enjoy. This looks amazing. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> where do you see yourself in five years? Definitely completing my doctorate in broadcasting and then hopefully moving the initiative of the creche and my NPO to other remote areas in the country. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Oh, definitely to be forever 21, <laughs> um, to have unlimited sushi and to have a million other wishes so I could just keep wishing for things. Thank you for joining us today. It was so much of fun meeting you at the beach, playing golf and of course having this amazing platter of sushi. Thank you so much for having me, it's been great. All that remained was for the first morsel to meet the taste test.